All right, before we get started, Team Will, over here. Team Jim, over here. Wait patiently until I am done with my review and then feel free to throttle each other to death. Shall we start with a 30 second summary? We shall. Clockwork Prince pretty much picks up where Clockwork Angel left off. Our friendly neighborhood shadow hunters are searching for Mortmain so they may bring a stop to his mechanical madness doohickeys and whatever evil plans he has you know, locked up in his crazy little brain. Only now Charlotte must find him unless she wants to lose the Institute. Will is searching desperately for the source of his curse, which makes him basically unable to love, lest he wants the person he loves to love him back and therefore die a painful death. It's long story. It is story. And Jim is still sick and coughing up blood, and it's a very sad situation. And Jessamine is just as annoying as always. Okay, let's start out with the plot. Cassandra Clare has this writing style I've noticed where she doesn't really have allotted points in a plot line. Like, do you remember when you were in elementary school and your teacher was teaching you about plot and it would be like rising action, peak of action, falling action, and then everything before was just like preparing to get to the part where there's rising action? With Cassandra Clare, it's just action. And yes, some peaks are higher than others, but it doesn't follow that pattern. It's just like... Which isn't a bad thing. In fact, I really enjoy it. It looks like she's gonna stick with the plot line of Tessa, Jim, Will, and the rest of the gang looking for Mortmain, trying to destroy him and his plans and whatnot. But who knows, maybe it'll be like with Valentine in the Mortal Instruments series. Maybe Mortmain will only be the main bad guy for like a few books and then die a painful angel-y death. Oh yeah, uh, spoilers. But until then, I'm happy with Mortmain. He's a scary, scary man. I wanna marry Tessa. You pervert. It's actually a good thing I'm about to say this through a video because that means you guys can't hit or kick me or bite me or throw rotten fruit at me. I like the Infernal Devices series more than the Mortal Instruments series. Don't kill me. Especially when it comes to characters. I don't know, I like the characters of the Mortal Instruments series, but I feel like the characters of the Infernal Devices series have a lot more depth and reason for existing. Or reason for acting the way they do. For example, Will Herondale is a jerk for a reason. Like, for a legitimate reason that makes me want to cry. A legitimate reason that I totally understand. Like, I would be the same way too. When Will opens his mouth, I say, oh my gosh, Will, say more words, I love you. Jace Whalen's reason for being a jerk was fine for the first, like, two books. Then it got stupid. It got to the point where I was like, Jace, Shut up. Please. All I feel that Jace needs as a character is a really awesome therapist. I love Jace. I love Jace, but Jace doesn't break my heart the way Will Herondale does. Don't even get me started on Jim. Ugh. So I'm not thrashing the Mortal Instruments series. I love it. Yay, Cassandra Clary, you're amazing, and Jace Wayland's hot, and Clary... Yay, Clary, and whatever, but I just love the Infernal Devices. It's a plotline. Characters. Great. What else would you expect from Cassandra Clare? She's got this down. She's been doing this for a while. And we may as well get to the part that you guys all want me to talk about. Are you Team Will or Team Jim? I used to be die hard Team Will. Die hard. Then I read the second book and everything changed. Hear me out. You have to admit, Team Jim people, you have to admit, Tessa and Jim's relationship in book one is Nothing. That's why I was like, hello, Team Will. Tessa and Jim are, are cute, like friends, but I don't think, they don't seem like, I don't know. Just, and then there was like Will and Tessa, and that was just pff, burning fires of passion over here. So in my mind, it was just an obvious pick. But then I read this book, and Cassandra Clare broke my heart. Twice. Once for each boy. I kind of thought this love triangle was going to be more like Clary, Simon, and Jace. Jace being Will Herondale and Simon being Jim. 
Like, yeah, Simon's a nice idea, but let's be real, I think we all knew Clary was gonna end up with Jace. Now I'm all confuzzled! Ha! <sighs> I don't know. Jim full-on broke my heart in this book. Their kiss and the things he said to her and he said he just write her poetry and she's dying. I don't, what is this with my face right now? So yeah, I don't even want to get into this. It's too hard for me to talk about. It's like heart-wrenching. I love Will and I love Jim. I really do. But as much as I love Jim, I still have to say I think Will and Tessa would make a better couple. And when he found out the truth about the curse, and oh my gosh! <sighs> that timing, that timing killed me. Did it kill you? It killed me. This is simply me in zombie form because I am dead, my friends. All right, okay, so all in all, I like Jim and Will, but if one forces me to pick, I have to go with Will, I'm sorry. My loyalty is unswerving. Now, I'm pretty sure I didn't have any problems with other aspects of the book. Character development works just fine. I love Tessa, love her. Her reasoning makes complete and total sense to me. Like, she does something, even if it's something I don't like that she's doing, I still see why she does it, so she doesn't annoy me. I can see why she didn't tell Will she loved him. I can see why she said yes to Jim. I, I can see this. I understand. I've made that connection. Like, have you ever read a book where the main character will do stuff and you're just like... Why? That is the worst. Ooh, and I never thought I'd say this, but I feel bad for Jessamine. It's a really weird relationship. I, I really hate her, but I really feel bad for her. It's kind of the way you feel about that girl in high school who's really mean to you, but so not intelligent that you just can't help but pity them. Oh, you. I'm sorry for... That's how I feel about Jessamine. Like, do I hate her for betraying them? Yeah, but do I feel really bad for what happened with Nate? Oh yeah. I don't think I have much else to add. Uh, the plot was great, character development was just the way I liked it, the writing was smooth. I have got to give props to Cassandra Clare because, well, sometimes when people write in, as I eloquently put it, old-timey speak in the olden days, it makes their writing style a lot more boring, overly descriptive, almost too fanciful. Like, okay, I get it. Her dress was white, please stop comparing it to fluffy bunnies in a meadow in heaven with snowflakes. Oh my gosh, does this keep going? But Cassandra Clare manages to keep that edge she's got in the Mortal Instruments series. Great job, Cassandra Clare. I loved Clockwork Prince. It was heart-wrenching, heart-wrenching, heartbreaking, how dare you, but at the same time, congratulations. What a great book. I just want book three so bad. Because at this point, Tessa, it's up to you. I'm done choosing. Okay? You need to choose. You need to choose. Okay. Girl. We on the same level here? And Jim, you just... Live, okay? I like you too much. I don't want you to die. Subscribe. Comment. Thumbs up if you're a shadow hunter. Thumbs down if you are not a shadow hunter. Sucks for you.